Hey, welcome to Captain Lockpick. My name is Brian and UHS has been sending me all kinds of free gifts and I'm super thankful for that. UHS hardware is also my key supplier. I buy all my car keys from them. Obviously they have the lowest prices. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. Great quality and their customer service is on point. So thank you UHS hardware. I really appreciate you guys sending me all these cool gifts. This gift that they sent me, I actually keep this right in my wallet. So I'm gonna pull it out for you. Looks like a credit card, doesn't it? All right, so this is not just any ordinary credit card. This is a James Bond Visa credit card. Um, you probably might know what's inside. What would James Bond keep in a hidden compartment of a credit card? There is lock picks inside. Let's see if we get that to focus a little better. There we go. So there is a few different lock picks inside and I'm really excited for this product because sometimes I'm out and about and if I'm not on the clock or I don't have my service van with me, uh, this will be a nice way to keep some lock picks handy. You know, sometimes people make mistakes and you just happen to be out and about. But you can't help them because you don't have any tools on you. So it's a really cool uh, little pocket concealed lock picks. Um, let me switch camera view over for you. I'm going to kind of show you which picks come in there. There's like a city rake, I think they call it. There's a single pin picking rake. And they actually work pretty well. I was surprised. You know, they're kind of small and I wasn't sure how well they were going to work. Uh, I won't be picking any, you know, too fancy or too secure locks. It's just going to be this little quick set one just because it's the one that I already had on this display unit which if anybody knows where I can get a cooler nicer display unit uh, like a little lock fixture I'm really in the market for one you'd be surprised on how hard they are defined um, for sale uh, I think I found one on Alibaba but uh, and they were pretty affordable it was like 15 bucks per fixture but you had to buy like 100 of them so <laughs> If anybody wants to go in on a hundred of them with me, I'm down, but I do not need a hundred of them. So if anybody does have an extra one laying around that sees this video and wants to sell it to me, I would be happy to buy it. Cause this one, I made it myself. It's mediocre at best, but eh, it gets the job done. All right, let's switch the camera view around here. So it just kind of slides open, right? You just slide it, slide it open, kind of take off the front. And we got a few picks. We got this one here. We got a tension wrench, we got a little snake rake, and we got a diamond pick, and a city rake. Let me zoom in a little bit on those. So yeah. So it looks like this one's got two sides here. It's got a little bit thicker side for the tension wrench, a little bit thinner side. This one right here is a nice city skyline rake, I think is what they call it. Um, this one's just your standard diamond pick. This one's a little snake, and this one's a little hook pick. So I am gonna put these to the test. Let's see how these picks work at picking this simple quick set lock. All right, so we got this low security KW1. Um, let's pull out our pocket picks. Let's slide this way or that way, there we go. And I am just going to randomly probably pick a couple to try out. All right, so let's get the tension wrench in here. Slide it back and forth, kind of showing that the cylinder is set. I got the City Skyline Rake. Um, kind of hard to get a good grip on it. Um, but even with the light tension, it is turning no problem. Picked very quickly. It's always a good rake, especially for these quick set locks, these uh, city sky, I, I don't even know what they're called, I think they're city skyline rakes, but you know the one. And I just rock it back and forth, that's how I use it. Right. Try resetting it. Put our uh, tension wrench back in there. Slide it rake in. <laughs> I 
Okay, there we go. It went the other way, no problem, but I was trying to get it back to the locked position. That worked as well. Um, let's try, let's try the hook pick. Just your basic hook pick. It's obviously a lot smaller than the ones I have been accustomed to using. But I'm pretty confident we could probably, there's enough, enough pick there to hold on and probably, probably pick these pins. really easy so if you guys are not a locksmith though you know be careful I don't know what all the laws are with carrying around lock picks in your pocket you know if you get in some kind of interaction with a police officer and they search your wallet and they see that you have this in there I have heard about some laws pertaining to uh, burglary tools, possession of burglary tools. Um, I'm sure if you could prove that you were either just a hobbyist lock picker and you know, you're know you honest with the cop and they don't have any reason to believe that you're breaking into homes, um, you'll probably be okay. As for all my locksmiths out there watching, obviously we should be fine with these. If, you know, There's no reason we can't prove that we're a locksmith. Um, but yeah, super cool thing. I think I am gonna carry this around on my personnel. It could come in handy many times. I locked myself out of my apartment before um, and I've had to get in with paper clips so <laughs> thank you UHS hardware I'll post a link and where to get one just for yourself if you like this product I really appreciate you guys watching my videos um, I just hit the 4,000 hours watched in the last year and 1,000 subscribers as well which means my account is now monetized so I think I'll be making, you know, five to 10 bucks a month off my videos. So nothing too crazy, but it's a start. So uh, I really do appreciate you guys following me along this YouTube journey. I'm excited to really take it on full force um, coming up 2021. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please do. It really does, uh, does help me out. Like the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment. Reach out to me for anything. I'm here for you guys. I'm trying to make this content to be as appealing as possible for number one, my subscribers, but also any viewers out there. So keep watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Again, I'm Brian with Captain Lockpick, and have happy holidays.